Hey y'all, it's Mayo. If I sound strange, I had gotten ready for bed and I have my retainer in, but um, someone asked for a quick tutorial on V-Labeler for um, Div Singer and stuff. So right here, I have pasted that um where it is and this folder is just a folder that has a folder in it that says wave and you click on the wave and there's the wave files inside of it and it automatically picked up in an SVS singer labeler and you go down here and you hit OK and that I have a very slow computer. <laughs> we'll bring up this. And all you have to do now is I actually have no idea what's going on. Uh, okay. Tools. What the heck? Uh, this is weird. Where is the scissor tool? Oh, there. I guess this is an older version, so you have to go to Edit Tool Scissor, and once you do that, you will be able to put in, I don't know, let's just say this is a S, and then you type that, and I don't know, let's say this is an E, and you just keep going like that, and... You just plop that down, and if you need to change something, um, where do you go to change it? You see, I use Pratt to label, not this. Um, edit. Do you go to edit? Rename current entry. And now let's say, oh, that was actually a U. And... Sorry, this was a little uh, scatterbrained. I really don't use V-Labeler for anything other than making sure that the uh, labels are valid. But once you're done, you go to File, and you have to choose Export Overriding All for everything to get exported correctly. So, yep. Sorry, this is scatterbrained, and I'm talking funny because of my retainer. And I am also very sorry about the video quality, this is not a good computer. See? Encoding overload. And this is what it looks like. Alright, love you all. Bye.